presented by Exquisite Timepieces. More about them in the description down below and later in the video. The Omega Speedmaster Chronoscope is one of the latest releases in the Omega Speedmaster lineup of watches, which includes classic watches such as the Speedmaster 57, the Moonwatch Professional, and the Caliber 321. The standard Speedmaster Moonwatch, which I have featured on this channel in the past, differs from this new Chronoscope model in a number of ways, which we will get into. But suffice to say, the Chronoscope is a dual counter chronograph that pulls inspiration from the Speedmaster Chronograph wristwatches from the 1940s. It features an elaborate dial with multiple chronograph timing scales and applied Arabic hour markers set atop a spiral track pattern. It also features a leaf style handset, in keeping with the design styles of the era for which this watch is based on. Now at 43mm in diameter, it comes in a hair larger than the moon watch, but it's hardly a noticeable difference in the hand. In fact, on the wrist, and my wrist is 6 and one half inches, I can't say that I notice any significant difference between this and the Moonwatch 1861 Hesalite model that I've owned and worn for a number of years. And speaking of fit on the wrist, while I'm probably getting ahead of myself, I have to mention this fantastic leather strap. It's a mild disappointment that it comes in at 21 millimeters instead of the more traditional 20 or 22 millimeters, but the strap quality and the Omega signed pin buckle are absolutely outstanding. The strap is both comfortable on the wrist and it looks fantastic, with the perfect shade of chestnut brown that goes with this dark blue dial perfectly. I should note that while this is the blue dial variation of the chronoscope, it does come in for different dial configurations, and additional bracelet options and case materials as well. The dial variations include this blue dial with metal markers, a silver dial with blued markers, and my favorite, a white panda dial with red accents. And of course, a bronze gold cased version with a brown dial. This model on leather strap comes in at $8,300 retail, which is over $1,000 above the Speedmaster Moonwatch with the sapphire crystal in the display case back. And look, that's not an insignificant premium, but it might be worth the extra cost for someone looking for a Speedmaster with a dual register design and a few of the additional features found on this model. Speaking of the dual register design, this dial has an active running second subdial at the 9 o'clock position, and of course, the Caliber 9800 Master Chronometer offers stop seconds hacking when setting the time. The 3 o'clock subdial has a two handed 12 hour recorder capable of counting both elapsed minutes and hours on the same register. It's a feature with obvious benefits. It frees up more space on the dial for the intricate timing scale, but it does have a negative. The negative is that if you're anything like me, on the wrong side of 40 years old, you probably have failing eyesight in the small detail range. And if so, it is a bit difficult to pick up the exact minute the counter is indicating. So to all of my over 40 friends, break out those reading glasses when you're timing stakes on the grill. Now a quick note about those aforementioned timing scales. Outboard of the dial and the sapphire crystal, we have a typical tachymetric scale for timing speed over distance. Now interior to the spiral engraved hour track, you have two more scales, a telemeter capable of telling you exactly how far you are from a visible or an audio cue, such as lightning, for example, and finally a pulsometer, which can measure your heart rate. Through the Sapphire Crystal Display case back, you're presented with the Omega Caliber 9908 Coaxial Master Chronometer. It is of course a Metas certified movement that is hand winding and it offers the wearer a 60 hour power reserve. It's a 44 joule column wheel chronograph running at 28,800 vibrations per hour and it is nicely decorated with Geneva stripes. The watch case is a fairly standard design for Omega which includes the twisted liar lug profile with a mix of both brushed and polished surfaces. And it features an Omega signed crown with traditional piston style pushers above and below for the operation of the chronograph function. And like most chronographs, the functionality of the timing mechanism is of course dead simple. The top pusher is responsible for both starting and stopping the central 60 seconds counting hand, and you can reset the chronograph back to the zero position with a click of the lower piston pusher. Now, having been a longtime owner of the Speedmaster, I am a big fan of this line of watches as a whole. I owned the 1861 Moonwatch for years, and I always liked models such as the first Omega in space, and I'd love to get my hands on a 321. That said, this one probably falls in below those in terms of my favorite Speedmaster models of all time, but I do really like the 1940s inspired design, the lovely and intricate details on the dial, like the applied markers and the spiral track pattern, and the additional functionality added with the extra timing scales. And while this one does come on a leather strap, I am happy to see that on the other models, Omega is finally listening to the fans and the customers who have been asking for some sort of toolless micro adjustment on the clasp. Because on those models that come on a bracelet, having a toolless adjustable clasp is absolutely fantastic. 
And finally, while the price isn't as competitive as other models in the Speedmaster lineup, that 10 to 20% premium over the standard Moonwatch isn't outrageous considering what you get. So yeah, overall, I would say that this is an excellent addition to the Speedy lineup and one that I've enjoyed checking out for the past few days. If this is one that you're interested in buying, give our video sponsor Exquisite Timepieces a shout. I'm sure they can take care of you. This video is presented in partnership with Exquisite Timepieces, located in Naples, Florida. Exquisite is an authorized dealer of dozens of watch brands, including Seiko and Grand Seiko, Omega, Oris, Blanc Pan, Breguet, and many more. Exquisite also has an amazing selection of pre-owned watches with new inventory coming in daily. So if you're looking for your next watch, check their website, exquisitetimepieces.com, or call their store at 239-227-2932, and let them know that you heard about them from Guy and the Just Blue Fish channel. I can't recommend them enough.